Um, we're going to relate the radius of the mixed linear circle with the circumcircle of a triangle. Uh, the mixed linear circle is just um, a circle through two of the vertices of the triangle and tangential to one of the sides. Um, so we will see that in a second. Um, so here's my triangle. And let me do my usual gambit of um, constraining the side lengths of my triangle. And this will give the appropriate input uh, for GX web to play with. Um, now, a mixed linear circle. So it's going to be, I'm going to do this by drawing. It's going to be a circle um, through two points. So we'll make it go through B and we can go through A using the incident constraint. And now we'll make it tangent to the side AC. So there's my mixed linear circle, and I now want to look at my circumcircle. I use that with a simple construction there. Uh, now I'd like to look at the radii of the two things. So let's let's look at that radius of the circumcircle. Looks like that. Uh, radius of the mixed linear circle. Um, looks like that. It looks very similar. Uh, we can. Um, in our head, probably work out what the ratio is, or we can ask um, GX Web to do it for us. The radius of the mixed linear circle uh, divided by the radius of um, the in circle. And we see that is um, C over A. Um, now I'll leave it to you to work out. Um, what the other uh, mixed linear circles would have. Uh, notice there's, um, for every pair of vertices, there are two mixed linear circles. You see, it's going to be one that goes through the two vertices. And is tangential to the other side. Now, what would the radius of that one be? So, uh, tell me, think what that one should be, and the software gives it. Is that the answer that you thought of? <laughs>